Hey, hey. Welcome back to Second Run Gaming. I'm Austin, and we're here with one of my favorites, Mirror's Edge. I just love the aesthetic, the running, the music, the red, the white, the fact that it's from 2008. We're going to start a new game. We're just going to do normal difficulty, just going to run it chill. Um, I've played this game a lot. I've beaten it on hard before, but I haven't played it in a long time. And <laughs> for any of you who have watched any of my other series, um, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself and think that hard mode or nightmare difficulty is a good move when actually I would just have more fun if I just played through as it was intended. Once the city used to pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Train of time, Faith. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? Gotta love the comic book cutscenes. Um, it's it's an edgy game from the mid aughts, um, but I love it for what it is. Yeah, tutorial. It's uh, it's pretty simple shit. There we go. So runner vision shows you movement and interactive opportunities, keeps your eyes open for red objects. All those red objects are things we're gonna want to use for jumping. Pretty simple stuff. I just really love how the flow of this game kind of goes, and the color is just beautiful. There she is. Get after her. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. Didn't think we'd be seeing you so soon. Oh, okay. Showing off her shit. Think I can't do that? I got it. Okay, fancier. I can do that too. Ooh, red door. Wait, I mean, the game's from 2008. They released a follow up in 2016, which is Mirror's Edge's Catalyst. Um, but graphically, I think because of the art design and just the aesthetic, and just kind of the care it seems like they took, it's a short game, but the time that you spend in it, you can tell they spent a lot of time on the design. It holds up really well. I mean, arguably, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which came out eight years later, plays so similarly that it just feels like a f more fully realized version, I guess. In a lot of ways, I honestly kind of prefer the original Mirror's Edge, though, just because I think they kind of ran away with the scope in Catalyst and kind of got lost in the myriad of like open world games that were coming out at that time and are still kind of coming out now what's really nice about this one is that it's not open world it's level oriented it's mission based um which for the parkour aspect of the game doesn't give it as much freedom but i think it does help them stay focused and so the time that you spend playing it is a little more enjoyable 
feel like I'm not really running around doing fetch quests a billion times. I feel like I'm playing a story from beginning to end and experiencing the beats that are make sense and are, you know, necessary. Zip lining has got to be one of my favorite things as well. Just the way that you speed up. Oof. It's just relaxing. I feel like I try and play a lot of harder, more stressful games on the channel. I love tactics-based stuff. In my own time, I love, you know, RPGs. But those are games that take a lot of, like, time and energy and focus. And this does too, but it's very different. It's more mechanical, it's more methodical. Um, and it's really relaxing to me for that reason. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Oh boy, am I. Okay, come on. I honestly really want to get a tutorial. I'd like to just play the game, but it's cool. Oof. So we can string together different moves and attacks. We're more effective in combat that way. All right, Faith. Let's run through some weapon disarms. Just in case. <laughs> that is not what I was supposed to do. I am so sorry. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. Boop. Sorry. The combat is in the first game especially is, is really fun as well. I love the focus just on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fighting with guns is honestly the weakest part of this game, so I'm gonna do my whole run not using them if I can. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. Bye. We are ready. Surprisingly enough, I actually got an achievement, um, which I don't think I've gotten an achievement for this game in actual literal years. There are a couple of differences between this game and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, main one being that in Catalyst you can press the right trigger to like speed up a little bit, so you might see me randomly punch. Uh, that is muscle memory for the wrong Mirror's Edge. Okay. The bag. So hey. we'll take it from there. I'm I'm working on it. Okay? I'm working on it. Okay, get into the comms tower. Shouldn't be too hard. I feel like we're running at a decent pace, even if Celeste is moving faster than us. I feel like we're going pretty Why are the about you, Faith? Sounds like some blues are headed your way. Do the chopper tip them off. Blues are cops. Heads up. Oh man, I missed that thing. Dang. Oh shit. There we 
go. There's our runner kit. Bags are hidden in stash points for collection or discarded by runners in trouble. A runner glyph will indicate a stash point is nearby. We've got one out of 30. And since I don't have any save data on this console, I actually haven't collected any of those, so I'll keep an eye out for them. We should always try and get away from hostiles. Fighting is an option, but especially with dudes with guns, we're not even going to look at them. Just get the hell out of there. Wires are going crazy. Get out of there. Please. Oh, I bet they are. I'm Patrick Celeste. You there, Sal? What the hell's happening? I can hear gunshots, and that bird seems a little too curious. Whew. Rolling is super important as well, just to avoid like taking too much damage. It is pretty easy to die in this game if you're not careful. I'm gonna die a lot, I already know, but still. I feel like at least for this first mission I've played enough to where I should get through it pretty quickly. I kicked him in the groin. And then also in the head. Ow. And then there's a kit over here as well. I think I remember where it's stashed. It's just right in between here. If I can get to it. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Got it, but unfortunately that means I've given the cops a lot of time. You ready, Phil? Yep, I can see face now. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. There are three bags hidden in each Get chapter. There are more booze on the way. We've got two of them for this one. Hey, throw me the bag. You got them. You want both? Yes. Just one? Okay, okay, cool. I got it right here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Get out of here. Oh boy, they coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. You gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just do it. And we're good. Living life on the edge. This is meant to be a low key job. Why the hell were they shooting? What did you do to me? Nothing. <laughs> we just opened fire. I don't know what the hell's happening. I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, Faith. You got him. Again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Yeah, anyways, it's uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. I'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topping. Matured. Sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Mark. Shots fired. Repeat. Shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. Almost there. Well, anytime you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a sec. 
All right. So yeah, we're already done with chapter one, technically, or maybe the prologue. I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, subtitles going because I forgot because I'm dumb. Um, but they're on now, so there you go. You're welcome. But yeah, one of the things I really like about Mirror's Edge as well is just, I mean, the levels are very short, but especially since the focus is on free running and like, you know, parkour was all the rage in 2008, it was all about getting from point A to point B as fast as possible. So pacing wise, it makes a ton of sense that the missions are quick, you know, like we want to get through them as fast as we can. Damn it. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell them what's going on. There's a whole section of this game um, in the front of the main menu that's just about speedrunning each of the chapters. I've, <laughs> I think I've speedrun two and gotten through on the target time. In general, they're pretty difficult. Finally, someone who could actually make a difference in this place. But that was the whole point. And I feel like it's one of the few games, like, I don't know if this ever happens to you, but... I get jet lagged by the amount of violence that's are in a lot of games, and like I, I definitely have absolutely no qualms with violence in video games. Um, obviously, we all know that that conversation is pretty overrated, but there's something to be said about games like this. Why I gravitate towards like The Sims too is just it's nice to just actually have a peaceful game where. I mean, we're still punching people for sure, but mostly what I'm doing is just running. I also attribute it to when I was a kid. I really liked to run. I very specifically, when I played baseball for two years, wanted to be the designated runner for everybody. Um, that's not a thing, but if it was, I would have been stoked because I wanted that real bad. So I think I get to live out just my kid fantasy of running everywhere all the time for no reason. Um, and that is, you know, literally also what this game is. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in, asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it was with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just great. can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be outgoing right about... Oh, now. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith, thank you. Ah, uh, first person hugs. My favorite. If we're stuck and need guidance holding B will point us in the right direction. Like right Shit. there. Shit is right. You got it, I'm on it. Whew. Slow and steady. Actually no, fast and panicked. I feel like that's the way to play this. Got it. I love the green. This like lime green that's going on. I'm here for that. Real quick, real quick. There we go, there we go. Come on. Okay. Come 
Okay. Awesome, and our ticket out of here. It's been a long time, honestly, since I've actually played through the cutscenes. I don't remember if the writing is good. I feel like the writing is probably kind of meh. It is 2008. It's obviously edgy. Uh, the writing in Catalyst was solidly meh. But the aesthetics really kind of just make up for all of it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta time this one well. And we're off to the races. We don't get shot. Perfect. I love how the speed picks up and everything starts like blur. Real speedy. Get running, girl. Okay, Merc, come on. Okay, we see there's a runner bag emblem right over there, so I mean, I gotta check that shit out. Come on, pick that thing up. Alright, cool. Whew. And we're back. Honestly, these guys have like Stormtrooper aim, so I'm not, I'm not too worried. Time, making good time. I always hit that just slightly early. Just gonna curve around this side, avoid those guards coming out of the elevator. Give him the old one too. And we're out. Centurion Plaza, here we come. Picking up squad cars, moving in on you. You ain't got much time. Oof. It's definitely just a constant flow. You definitely just can't stop or try not to lose that momentum like I just am losing right now. And it's, uh, yeah, now it's not fun anymore. There we go. Oof. Yeah, I'm losing it. You gotta push through to the plant, fake. There's a roof in the tunnel ahead. Here we go. Get some air in your lungs and run, fake. You don't wanna know what's behind your face, just keep running. I wonder if you did like a speech. Check. Should be an exit off the rail overpass in the plaza head. Creek heads to the other side to get down. Unlike the script for this game, how many times run was a word that popped up. I feel like it's a lot. Blues up ahead, kiddo. One at a time, remember. No! I pressed the wrong button, but it's fine. Fuck him. We don't need to fight him. We're pacifists here. We're just a runner. Head up onto the rail overpass. It's the only way through. Nice little handy dandy ladder. You almost lost him. Patrick Krieg in. Faith, hey, let's get you out of here. Da 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 da. We're 
good to go. Another chapter down. Something's got somebody rattled, kiddo. I don't know what it is, but they're mighty jittery. Hey, Cell. Take long to lose them? Nah, those blues can't move for shit. They've gotten a little gun happy, though. Wires are fizzing about Pope's murder. Blue traffic is up. Way up. Don't know what's got into them. Must be contract renewal time. Be careful out there, Cell. So why all the heat? Our girl's been lifting evidence from a crime scene. Now every cop in the city seems to be after her. That the evidence you lifted? Yeah, I think it's from a diary. Rest of it was gone. All I can make out are Icarus, maybe. And to the highest. Icarus. Wasn't he the Greek guy? Yeah, his dad made him some wings out of feathers and wax. Then the boy flew too close to the sun. And pssst, No more wings, no more Icarus. If anyone's heard anything, then you know who it'll be, Faith. Yeah? I know he ain't a runner anymore, but he's got contacts. You can't avoid him forever. Wanna bet? Who? Jackknife. Jackknife. It's so edgy, it kind of hurts, but it also kind of makes me happy. <laughs> the rooftops of the old runner training ground in the storm drains. Roots crawling with blues, though. You can follow the canal for the Hampton Town District. Get going. Get going. Maybe next time, though. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this has been Mirror's Edge. We did a decent amount of stuff. We got through the training ground. We got through the prologue. We got through the first chapter. Coming up next, we're going to track down whoever the fuck Jackknife is. And chances are, fingers crossed, we're going to do a lot of running. See you next time. <laughs>